hater deployed. Final cargo out. Adjusting charge. Hostile care package overhead. Loot Bravo. Sing shot one one out. Give it Hostile Hellstorm overhead. Sing shot one one. Roger. Hey guys, it's DemonoBK and today I'm bringing you some Black Ops 3 on the PC. The gameplay you're going to watch here is me using the Weevil SMG on the map Stronghold and we're going to go around Rampage and just essentially just hip fire and that's the best thing to do with the Weevil and I can't wait to get my hands back on this because I really did have a lot of fun using the Weevil SMG. So without any further ado, let's get on with the video. So I thought I'd go over some of the changes that they've made to the PC version of Black Ops 3. The PC dev actually put out a blog post the other day listing some of the fixes. Bear in mind this is just a few of the fixes and they've probably fixed a lot more behind the scenes and there's not any point really telling us what they've fixed. Um, so we're going to start off with bullet point one here and it says some players felt the game didn't perform well on the computer. The good news is that the PC beta didn't include the final performance optimizations. He did actually tweet this out when the beta went live so if you had a poor time in the beta of Black Ops 3 you're probably going to have a really good time when the game actually launches once it's all had its final optimizations there's no point doing it for a beta and then having to do it again for when the game actually launches he goes on to say here the work is being completed as we speak and we're improving performance and working with hardware partners to prepare optimized drivers for launch so yeah expect a flawless launch with this i really do think nvidia are going to pull through with some great graphics drivers they always do and i expect no difference i'm not too sure about amd i haven't been on the amd side of things with graphics cards for a while but when i was with them it was a bit rocky with the drivers so yeah if you're on video expect a great launch so a bullet point here that I'm really, really happy about, and this is something that plagued me for the whole duration of the beta, and I actually tweeted towards the PC dev once I read this post. I think it was on the 12th or something. I'll put a screenshot up. And uh, essentially this post is, other players describe the mouse as floaty or laggy, and we agree. Player feedback helped us find the problem, and we fixed it. I cannot say how happy and oh, I'm just over the moon that they fix this because I really was worried that this was an issue that was sort of going to come over to the launch of the game. Uh, being Treyarch, they've sat there, they've gone through the code or whatever they've done to try and alleviate this problem. For me, the only issue uh, that I had throughout the beta was this. I didn't have any crashes really. Uh, I think I had one crash when the game first launched up, but other than that, I just had this mouse issue and it was so infuriating. I couldn't play the game at 120 frames. I had to lock it to 60 frame rate, even on a 120 monitor uh, just to get a stable mouse and it was just awful so I'm really really happy that they fixed this. So the next couple of issues I really didn't have a problem with but I'm going to go over them here. It says here some players with certain networking configurations had trouble connecting to the online services. Thanks for your reports we were able to fix this compatibility issue. I never had an issue actually connecting to the servers unless they went down. Other than that it was pretty much flawless and I got into a game really quickly and I suppose that was down to the fact that there were about 25,000 people playing the beta on PC which is awesome. It's good to see that there's a lot of hype for this game on PC and hopefully it's it follows through with the game on launch. So on to the final bullet point here, it says, During the beta, some players provided feedback that they were experiencing various crashes, freezes, or other bugs. We've been dissecting each one, and as a result, we've been able to fix a lot of the bugs and many crash and freeze issues. This is really, really cool to see that they're doing this, and I'm really happy to see it. I expected this sort of polish to come from Treyarch, because Black Ops 2, for me, on PC at least, is really crash-free. It never really crashes, and if it crashes, it's down to my own fault, where maybe Maybe I've had a AVG pop up in the background saying it needs an update or other software that's really conflicted with the game and it's not down to the game's fault because the game is really well optimised on PC. How do you guys feel about this? Are you more inclined about picking this game up now that you've seen some of these issues are listed in this fix list like the laggy mouse issue? Because I would really understand why a lot of people would be put off this game, especially since the beta, because of the laggy floaty mouse feeling. Let me know in the comment section below, are you going to pick this up because of this? Anyway guys, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Later.